what I think is most interesting about blockchain is um, it lets you sort of rebuild financial institutions from scratch. If you think about them trying to be work as money, they don't work so well as money if uh, the price is changing. So people are interested in trying to think about how to make uh, protocols for Bitcoin or uh, blockchain currencies more generally that allow for prices that don't move around with so much volatility. In the paper, Currency Stability Using Blockchain Technology, co-authored with Ariel Zetton-Jones. The insight is that in blockchain technology, you can use sort of real-time information. So instead of sort of pegging an exchange rate unconditionally at one for one, your exchange rate can move up and down as demand arises. What you're trying to avoid is um, well, what's called sort of a speculative attack, which is I know you're going to run out of currency, and so if everybody thinks you're going to run out of currency, everybody sells, and you will indeed run out of currency. And so what you need is to come up with a, a mechanism that um, eliminates that individual incentive for each person to um, want to sell their cryptocurrency just because they think the price is changing. The interesting thing in Ethereum or smart contracts is you can write down these rules, post them, and they are like a computer script going to run automatically. And so the currency board sort of operates with rules as opposed to uh, a monetary policy that acts with, dis with discretion. When you look at things like um, Bitcoin, uh, you, you might go, oh, that's really dumb, I don't need that. But unpack some of those elements and repackage them and then suddenly you have the next Amazon and there has been this, you know, sea change shift and not just finance but society more generally. Mm -hmm.